come here to talk about surfboards, Grasshopper. Surfboards. Hey, welcome to Betty's Boardroom. I hope you're doing well. Um, I like this show for many reasons, but one of my favorite things about it is that it pushes me outside of my comfort zone a little bit and forces me to ride boards that um, I'm not sure I'm going to like. And um, I've heard ever since I started surfing, you know, this feeling, this mystical feeling uh, of riding single fins, this amazing thing that single fins do that no other boards can do. You know, you find people who are, are single fin converts and they just won't ride anything else. They just love the feeling too much. And I have a reader um, who's, who visits CompareSurfboards.com uh, frequently, and he actually wrote an article, um, contributed an article um, about why he loves the feeling of single fins, and he sold me on getting another single fin. Now he was looking at, um, at two different single fin models, the Almeric uh, single fin and um, this Hayden shaped Canon. And I decided to go with the Canon. And I have to say, if you are sitting on the fence about single fins, if you've always wanted to try one and you know, understand what, what you know, all of the hype is about, um, but you know, you're a little bit wary because you've heard about you know, some of the drawbacks, then this single fin is probably the one for you. This is the best single fin I've ridden and it's actually my favorite board to ride right now. I can't stop riding this thing. It's, it's actually not good for the show because there's other boards that I have to ride that are stacking up and I just can't help but keep riding this board. It is so much fun to ride. I feel like I've finally broken through and I felt that single fin feeling. Now, this Hayden shaped cannon has been modernized a little bit. Um, you know, it's got that kind of traditional beak nose that you see in a lot of single fins. It's got a wide point forward and it's got a lot of, um, a lot of foam and, um, and volume that run through kind of under this part of the board. But unlike a lot of other single fins, traditional single fins um, that are very flat and rocker from tip to tail, this has a little bit more entry rocker. So you can see there's a little bit more curve. And, um, you know, that allows you to get into waves that, um, you know, normally would be more challenging on one of those flatter single fins. My favorite surfs on this board have been in bigger, more powerful, kind of wedgy, punchy um, surf. And, you know, taking off, you know, I'm able to slot that nose into a steeper face. And then once you get going on a single fin, man, it is just a magical feeling. You just feel like you're flying down the line. And perhaps my favorite thing about it is it's just, it forces you to slow everything down. So when I surf, I probably try to be too active, you know? I mean, most of the waves I surf, you know, I'm lucky to, um, you know, to get a turn or two in. I mean, the waves that I surf um, just aren't that good. It's not like I have miles of open face to play with. So I try to do as much as I can in a short period of time. With a single fin, you kind of have to take what the wave gives you. And um, as a result, again, it kind of slows your surfing down. You're fo more focused on kind of pushing through your bottom turn. You know, you're more focused on kind of how you pump down the line because you're trying to extract as much power out of the wave as you can. Now that said, the best surfs I had in this again were when it was kind of bigger and it was more powerful. Um, and, um, and I put an emphasis on more powerful because I did surf this in smaller waves that, um, that did have a bit of push. And again, I had enough push to keep me going. Um, but I was surfing actually yesterday, a kind of bigger uh, beach break near my house. And it was, you know, it was well overhead on the sets and um, had plenty of size, but um, the faces were kind of flatter. And I did feel that I had to, um, you know, I was kind of struggling to generate enough speed to make it around sections and, and things like that. So, you know, my favorite surfs again have been when it's been kind of steep and fast and taking off and you've got plenty of speed and push behind you um, to get you going. Now, the coolest feature I think about this board, which is unique um, to the Hayden Shapes Cannon, is what um, Hayden has done to the, um, the deck. He's got this kind of concave that runs through to the tail here and um, you can see it's very pronounced and um, that concentrates a lot of foam through the center of the board here. So you're still getting all that paddle power but then it makes that, 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 um, that turning uh, point right here, makes it a lot easier to turn. It kind of pushes this board through turns because it's thinner um, around the corners. The best part about it though, is that when you go to do a turn, your foot rests on top of that arch perfectly and comfortably. And again, that kind of dynamic of, you know, the slightly thinner, um, uh, the slightly thinner uh, rails uh, with that kind of mound of foam here allows you to kind of, again, kind of push this through turns um, more easily than, um, than a, at least my experience with uh, single fins in the past. So you've probably seen Craig Anderson surfing this in his movie Slow Dance. He was surfing it at Chopu and just, you know, made the board look like every, you know, person would want to surf it. Um, you know, I probably wouldn't surf this board at Chopu, um, but I'm not Craig Anderson. But if you're looking for kind of more user-friendly single fin, something that, you know, will give you that single fin feeling, then I highly, highly recommend this Canon by Hayden Shapes. We're really enjoying this. I'm actually going to uh, Bali next week, and I'm very strongly considering taking this to Bali, which is a big call. 
Anyways, that's it. Thank you so much for watching the show. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will speak to you again soon. Cannon goes boom.